Okay, so really when these tutorials are really going to go through just the very basics because anything else you sort of want on top of that you can worry about later. Like images for example, you can choose how big your image sizes will be, that sort of thing. But um, I'm really only going to touch on the essentials. So we're going to look at the customer details screen now. As you can see here, this is really just um, information about your customer that you want to be able to see. Okay, so um, <coughs> this is obviously stuff they need to type in. I just don't think you nearly need to, really need to change too much from there. So I won't worry too much about that. Shipping and packaging. Now this one is obviously essential if you are going to be um, dealing with physical products. Now as you can see here, you see, you see here, store zip code is not confined, com, uh, defined. What we need to do is go to configuration and then shipping packaging to set that. Now we need to change the country of origin first, which is already highlighted, but we'll just change this here. Go back to Australia. Update that. Okay, postal code, same as zip code. Okay. That's mine, so update that. And you can enter package weights in here, um, that sort of thing. So this is really just going to be um, based on what you want to do, okay? But that's the shipping. Now we'll go into. I won't go about product listings just yet because we need to add them in. <laughs> Just going to see if there's anything else here that we really need to worry about right now. No, I don't think there is. Okay, so that's the last of the configuration menu anyway. So enjoy.